Hi, this is Marley Silverman reporting for Pandora TV. Today is May 11, 2010, and we are here at the Center for Independent Living in Broward County celebrating uh, International Awareness Day for neuroendocrine immune disorders like chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, Gulf War syndrome, chronic Lyme disease, and multiple chemical sensitivities, environmental illness. And I'm here today with my friends, okay, Janet? Hi, Hi Janet. Rita behind me, Hi. and Norma Rosoff, who is the facilitator. Oh my gosh, here we are, Awareness International, Awareness Day posters. And we are here then now, okay, having a nice little lunch, and, uh, and we're supposed to have some additional folks coming, but they did not feeling very well, and they couldn't make it, and we wish you good health today. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to have a, a wonderful event at the West Boca Raton Branch Library on State Road 441. And we hope you'll come because Dr. Eddie Essek from Arthritis Associates is going to be there. She's a wonderful rheumatologist. And so is Karen Sachs, one of our dedicated uh, board members and who happens to be also a wonderful mental health therapist and a health coach. She has something really special called Tools for Life. Uh, next to me, Jenny. Smile, Jenny. You're on Hi. camera. She's been crocheting for Socket for MECFS. There we go. <laughs> this is a wonderful artistic program and uh, um, uh, public um, uh, grassroots uh, efforts by Cassie Fatu and others uh, in the group who are uh, knitting and crocheting sockies uh, in, order, in order to honor individuals who have this illness. It has been an exciting month for Pandora. On May 8th, we had a wonderful meeting at the University of Miami hosted uh, by, uh, by uh, Dr. Nancy Kaimas' uh, group, and we had over 100 people in attendance, and it was a wonderful day. And uh, I'm here. I'm so excited. We're having a great time, and wish you all a wonderful May 12th. International Awareness Day for Neuroendocrine Immune Disorders. And wait a moment, tell me something. <gasps> My goodness, yes, I almost forgot. The most important thing today, yesterday, the New Jersey Senate, oh, yeah. right, right. Oh, yeah. passed SR20 at the Health Committee. Let me go back here. SR20 passed was approved by the Health Committee, which means that in a couple of weeks should go to the floor where the Senate then will vote for full passage of SR20, promoting the Neuroendocrine Immune Center in the state of New Jersey. And once this is off the ground, the sky's the limit. And here we come, WPI. We're going to be right behind you. We love you all. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.